Hello students, you have learned about the diverse non codates in the first two semesters. Now it is the turn to have a look on higher animals, the codates. In this short video, I am planning to share some information regarding the origin of codates, the animals with a stiff but flexible notochord. Look at the screen, there are two familiar groups. These are Echinodermata, popularly known by the name starfish, sea urchins, etc. With its two larval forms, auricularia and bipinaria. And the second group is Hemichordata, commonly known by the name acorn worms, with its larva, tornaria. See, even though there are so many theories exist regarding the origin of chordates, deuterostome origin is the most accepted one. Both the above groups, Echinodermata and Hemichordata, belongs to deuterostome, so as our chordates. So, uh, let me ask you, what is a deuterostome? Actually, you have learned about, about this term in the first semester. Recall that deuterostomes are a group of animals in which the first opening in embryo become anus and then followed by mouth. So from the blastopore, anus originate first before mouth. And now uh, I will talk about the time of origin in case of chordates. It is uh, supposed to be that the chordates might have evolved during Cambrian period some 540 million years ago in C. So uh, it is very hard to have a proof in the form of fossils because they were soft bodied animals. But I will try to show you three of the very popular fossils supposed to be the first ever chordates lived in the earth. So, moving to the Cambrian period earth image, look at the image of the globe at the uh, time of Cambrian period. It is almost 5, 14 million years ago. Here you can see the Gondwana land, the supercontinent and Pandalasa ocean you can see and some fragmented, uh, fragmented land masses are there scattered throughout the ocean and Look at these fossils. These are the three fossils, very popular, and they are supposed to be the first ever chordates lived in the earth. One is Unanozoan Lividium that was collected from China, and the second one is the Hycola lanceolata. Again, it is collected from uh, China, and uh, Picaia gracilens that is collected from Canada, British Columbia. So, these are the three very popular fossils supposed to be the ancestor or the first ever chordates lived in the earth. So, uh, I hope you have a basic understanding about the origin of chordates, the time of origin and what all are the fossils uh, which remained as the proof for the chordate evolution. Thank you so much for patiently listening this video.